Hello, I'm Harriet Seeger from Radcliffe Cardiology, and today I'm joined by Dr. Yoram Rudy, the Fred Sy Distinguished Professor at Washington University and Director of Cardiac Bioelectricity and Arrhythmia Center. Welcome, Dr. Rudy. Hello, Harriet. Nice uh, to have you join us today. Yeah, I'm happy to join you and, and talk about my role in top 10 in cardiology in October. That's so good. Um, just for the audience's sake, um, we're going to be talking about the top 10 in cardiology, which takes place on the 2nd of October this year in Lausanne, Switzerland. And Dr. Rudy is going to talk to us a little bit about what he's going to be talking about. So without further ado, please tell us what you're going to be talking about there, Dr. Rudy. Uh, basically, I'll talk about um, an application on the f of a new non-invasive method for mapping the electrical activity of the heart in the study of cardiac arrhythmias and about new insights into mechanisms of these arrhythmias that occur in patients. Um, the method is called electrocardiographic imaging or ECGI. It's a new novel technique developed in my laboratory over a period of more than 30 years now. And um, before I describe what I'll talk about, I just need to disclose uh, one connection to uh, industry, um, which is to a company called Cardio Insight Technologies that is trying to make uh, electrocardiographic imaging into a clinical tool. So basically what we do with the CGI is we record the entire potential distribution over the torso with 250 electrodes and take a CT scan of these electrode positions together with the heart anatomy and then use mathematical algorithms to reconstruct uh, maps of electrical activation on the heart itself. Approximating what you would have measured if you were to open the chest and put a sock with many electrodes over the heart with, but without opening the chest. Therefore, the method is completely non-invasive. It's really providing uh, high resolution, uh, very accurate maps of the electrical activity of the heart. And I will describe uh, at the top 10 in cardiology meeting uh, both the method and its application and new insight that were gained uh, on the mechanisms of various cardiac arrhythmias. These will include uh, electrophysiologic uh, abnormal substrate in patients that had myocardial infarction, for example, and have a scar, uh, patients um, undergoing cardiac resynchronization therapy for heart failure, and uh, hereditary arrhythmias that involve abnormal repolarization, such as uh, the Lonchitis syndrome and uh, the Brugada syndrome. By the way, these two last um, uh, cases that I mentioned were recently published in uh, circulation. So this is plan for the top 10 in cardiology and uh, thank you Harriet for allowing me to do describe them. Well that's so, that's so much for joining us and giving us a little bit of insight about your talk and for anyone that wants to know more about the meeting there'll be another video under this one where you can find out more um, by Professor Martin Fromer. But th for now thanks so much for joining us Dr. Rudy and goodbye. Thank you and goodbye, Harriet.